Well, it is the second week of LCS with coverage brought to you by Alienware. I'm joined right now by Poe Belter uh, to talk about how things have been going after the 3 1 opening two weekends here uh, with, with LCS. So, Poe Belter, you guys had a crushing game where you got perfected, but then you followed up with three victories. So, I mean, was was there just a mega tilt after that first game or have you guys, did you throw it out the window and you were able to, to pick up these W's after? Uh, we just knew we weren't actually like that bad after the first game. Um, yeah, it was pretty unfortunate that the way that game went, um, but we, we just brushed it off because we knew that um, that wasn't like, you know, it's not like we're a noob team, you know? Yeah. Um, so we knew we could win all our upcoming games. We're still confident. Uh, it, it didn't really feel like that big of a deal getting like perfect game. It just means like they did a good job at snowballing everything pretty much. Um, I think our picks were not the greatest that game either for coming back when we fall behind. So it's just like, yeah, we got shit on. Um, it was one game. Just move on. Uh, nope. yeah, a, a lot of the time people only get to see one game in LCS. Um, but it's not that uncommon to see like sometimes in best of threes, one game just gets completely shit on. You know, maybe not to the extent of being perfect game, but they just get like shit on first game and then they come back next two games. You never know what's going to happen. LCS, you only get to see one game. Yeah, no, it's, it's true. Uh, and so then you found these next three, three wins. Some people have been saying, hey, CLG, one of the best teams in the league. Others have been saying, hey, this was just an easy schedule for them over the course of these three. So what is your take on the victories that you've found recently? Yeah, I mean, uh, everyone is just saying we've been beating bottom teams which is i guess kind of true but also it's only been two weeks so it makes sense that teams we beat would <laughs> that one loss would affect them hard and put them closer to the bottom of the standing so i feel like you can't really uh say that um but yeah i mean i guess it's kind of true we haven't really faced any of the top dogs yet we haven't played c9 or tl or flyquest yet we did play eg and yeah i mean i guess we got perfect gamed so i guess that's where a lot of it is coming from we, we faced three, you know, people consider relatively weaker teams, one strong team, lost against a strong team, beat the weak teams. Well, and... Um, oh, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, uh, there's been a lot of hype around you from teams, I guess, based off of scrims saying, you know, that you, you are a top team. Uh, and I think maybe it was Jensen that said that your team could potentially even contest C9. So, you know, maybe it's fair to dismiss some of the criticism or some of the people saying, oh, they're just playing against easy teams. But, you know, what do you think of the praise that you're getting on the other end of the spectrum? Um, yeah, I mean, everyone's been putting in the hard work. We started scrimming earlier than pretty much every other team to prepare for the split, to make it different from last split. Um, even at the start, things weren't going amazing. Like, not going to lie, we scrimmed C9 and we just, like, we scrimmed them two days, instant 0-10. Like, they're just so much better than us. Um, but, like, I felt like from every game, we were taking something. We weren't, like, letting it tilt us. We weren't giving up, getting hopeless. Um, the next time we faced them, we were able to take a couple games off them. Of course, like, it's just fucking scrims, right? So the win-loss doesn't really matter. But I could feel our team improving. It was something that was, like, giving our team a lot of energy, a lot of, like, it, it just like felt good facing off against such a strong opponent that was so difficult to overcome and like just getting everything we could from it. Um, and yeah, I think that's just the really key thing is that even if um, we were like a really weak team last split, even if we were making mistakes, everyone is just doing what they can t to get the most out of it because everyone is really driven to just trying to become a winning team. What do you think are the differences between now and last split i mean because uh, it does seem like and again it's only been four games but it does seem like the team has kind of made a 180 i mean you've already hit the amount of wins that you had last split just in these first two weeks um feels like we're a lot more like a team now which sounds pretty corny i guess but yeah it just feels that way um our practice is feeling really good really productive everyone is giving good feedback to each other um yeah, I mean, last split when I came in, it wasn't really like that. But I think over time, we've kind of built that team camaraderie. Yeah. Maybe that's what you say. Um, yeah, I think that was a big thing. 
Well, uh, one of the things that you said in the interview I did with you, I think a couple of weeks ago now, uh, was that you thought it was strange that CLG wasn't able to use the training facility to uh, compete or scrim. And I've been noticing over these past two weeks that a lot of the teams are seemingly do using their facility. So have you had any additional clarity on that? Yeah, um, I guess there was just some sort of bureaucratic thing that you had to get through in order to do it. But CLG, actually, we got informed today that uh, we'll be able to start training out of our facility again, starting from the beginning of next week. So uh, that should be another helpful boost to our practice efficiency and our performance. Yeah. Uh, so I'm excited about that. Should be good to <laughs> see my teammates in person again. Well, uh, you've had a chance to play against Immortals. They did not have uh, X Smithy on the roster. And I'm kind of curious, as somebody who formerly, you know, you've played with X Smithy a lot, uh, what do you think of the departure of him from that starting lineup? Um, you know, I don't really know what's going on on their side. I haven't really talked to Jake in a bit, so I don't think it's really fair for me to criticize anyone regarding that, but... Yeah, I mean, if Immortals loses again tomorrow, maybe they can look into swapping him back in, something like that. Because, yeah. yeah, it doesn't look too great for them so far. Uh, do you have any expectations based off of the first two weeks of games on how well CLG can finish? Because it feels like a lot of people have been wanting to bump you back up in their predictions. I think Crumb uh -huh. said, oh, I think this will be a sixth-place team. I think Jack had you guys at fifth. and So it's been kind of interesting to see where people are placing you. Well, we are gunning for that playoff spot. Um, I, I mean, have that's top his... eight, so that's pretty easy. Yeah, right. Um, you know, that's what you think. Top eight should be really easy, right? But at the end of the split, someone's going to finish ninth and someone's going to finish tenth. And those guys definitely did not expect to finish there. And I don't think it'll be us this time, thankfully. Um, my opinion is that you get to playoffs and then um, there's kind of like, it's that patch, right? And then you have to understand the meta and you have to figure out how to play that patch really well. If you can figure out how to play that patch really well or figure out how to overcome the teams that were like strong up to that point, then you can really be a dark horse. You can win it all. Um, so, you know, even a team that can come in eighth can like threaten, you know, finishing first in the finals, in my opinion. Yeah. As long as that team prepares well, understands the patch well. For me, I think I've always performed really well when it comes to playoff time. I'm really good at understanding uh, the meta when it comes to situations like that. I'm really good at playing under that sort of pressure. So yeah, I mean, honestly, not even too concerned with where exactly we finish, whether it's first, third, fifth, seventh, whatever. As long as we make it into playoffs, there's like, you know, a month of practice leading into the first playoffs match right. sometimes. Actually, maybe not anymore. Sometimes you only get like a week or two. Yeah, I think it's it's definitely shorter now. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it certainly depends on where you place, right? Because there's buys and all that stuff, but definitely feels like it's a little shorter. Yeah, I mean, um, I think we've had a strong start so far. I think we'll be able to keep it going. Uh, I think some of the top teams are going to give us a tougher challenge for sure. Um, we've had a lighter schedule so far, admittedly. Uh, but I think, yeah, we really want to make it to playoffs. If we make it to playoffs, I think I'm going to perform well. Well, looking uh, forward to it. Is there anything that you want to say to any of the fans? And I know the last time I asked you this, you said, I feel like I already said the same stuff, but I don't know. <laughs> I, I will, I'm asking you it again anyway. Uh, I don't know. Get hyped, guys. CLG now has the same amount of wins as we did all of last split, and it is only week two, so it can only go uphill from here. That's unless true. Unless we lose the next unless you lose all of them. in a row. In yes, which case, exactly. we would still be even with our performance last split. That's true. That's true. But I don't think we'll lose 14 in a row. Yeah. Who yeah. knows? They, all sorts of crazy stuff happening this year. So, wait, you know, <laughs> who knows? Well, you can always go for 7-Eleven, which I know is the a CLG meme score, too. So that's uh, that's also an option. Wait, why is that a CLG meme score? Because they finished 7-Eleven a ton, I guess, in previous oh, okay. splits. Not, obviously not last one, but I guess it's very frequent for them to finish 7-Eleven. All right. Well, either way, uh, thanks so much for the interview, Pill Balter. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things esports right here on my YouTube channel. Hello, I've been getting some feedback recently that my audience is aging. My demo's a lot older than it should be. And I, I'm just going to 
I'm going to think through this right now and just, uh, here, maybe I can attract some newer viewers by going, ooh, ooh, I was on the TikTok earlier, and I saw some great memes uh, that people were posting. It was, it was so funny. Anyway, there's a link in the video description below for a brand survey that it would be super helpful if you answer honestly, because Travis Gafford Industries is trying to figure out some stuff about you guys and our sponsors and how everything works. It'd be super great if you can help us out with that. Also, shout out to Alienware. Uh, code Travis10OFF Q2 uh, for that. Either way, thanks so much.